What's going on everybody? Uh, on my show I do lots of cool music reviews and this is one that came about just a couple days ago. Please enjoy. Okay. Much better, much better. Back when I officially did a song review as well for Par Paradigal Benzene, my internet did a derp for half the song. <laughs> He's got a great voice. I'd like to look at the lyrics here in a little bit, but uh, I do like it so far. Sounds awesome, man. Sounds great. I mean, as far as like their their skill, they got a skill. You can tell that they're actually good good with the instruments that they have. You know? Yeah, this sounds so similar to a band that I know called Further Seems Forever. A little bit. Very good, very good. Yeah, this guy's got a good voice, man. I like the music video. I think that they could have done a little bit more with the music video, but what they have, it does sound good. I mean, it does look, it does look good. Good color choice. Yeah, I like that chorus line. That chorus line is probably the best part of the song, no doubt. No, man, this is, uh, this is a solid song right here, dude. No doubt about it, man. It has over a million plays, so dang. Very cool, man. I like that. Uh, obviously, some songs are written for their sound, and some songs are written for their lyrics, 
and other songs are written for their sound and their lyrics. And there's no doubt that they put a lot of time into making sure that the song, the lyrics here really do match the sound to the song. So I really appreciate that. Uh, the vocal delivery of the lead singer here is incredible. He has an incredible voice. You can tell it's a younger male voice, so he has a lot more uh, aging to come into with his voice, but that's part of the joy of getting a young singer like this when they're young because you get to hear some of that raw emotion that is a lot harder for older guys to get into. I like the lyrical content here. I think that there's... um. There is a melancholic sadness to it, but and also a bit of defiance in the lyrics. But I also like the questioning, the questioning of the singer or the main character in the song, asking if our skin is to keep the world out or our bodies in. And there is a bit of like this strange transcendent, like uh, there is a bit of this. Um, when I think about life and our bodies and humanity being made in God's image being, and being embodied, souls embodied in the physical form, as a Christian, I find a lot of like good overlap of thoughts with the lyrics, with the wrestling of Christians and people of faith with what does it mean to be human in this song. So I really like that because... Christians when believe Christians believe that when you die you go to heaven but that doesn't but heaven is not an embodied state and uh, it's kind of makes me think about like heaven isn't the ultimate resting place for for the world it's the new heavens and new earth and you can see here he's talking about what that is our skin to keep the world out or our bodies in and it is like that's such that such a great line because it makes you think about what does it really mean to be human? Are we meant to be, is it meant, are we meant to keep the world out because of our, because of our embodiment? Or does this, does the body keep the soul in a place? I think that's, um, I think there's a little bit of, of a give and take on both ends because the body is meant to encapsulate the soul, kind of like a vessel, right? But along with that, the body also not only encapsulates and, and controls where your soul is because it's always associated with your body, but along with that, it places you in a, in a temporal space in time, and you are there for a purpose and for a reason. But it doesn't look like home. I guess, like, he says this doesn't look like home. That's the, that's the other problem. Is that... This is not our home, ultimately. As Christians, I don't believe that Earth is my final resting place. Like, there is a... More valuable, greater kingdom and experience ahead. That lies ahead for us. So this, there is a bit of longing in the in the singer's voice, like, doesn't look like home. You know, look at what's going on in the world. There's all these awful things. There's this lack of, he says earlier, like, uh, my stomach's empty and I'm feeling faint. I've lost heart. I've lost faith. The forest no longer has trees. I don't have birds. I just have TVs and cars. You know, uh... There's like this disassociation of the earth with the creations of man. The brambles are bare and I'm hollow inside. You know, that's the next here. I think there's like this, this longing for another world and the present reality isn't good enough and it can't be good enough if you try to if you try to fill this life in with the things of this world you're going to always be left empty and look at the title of the song a tale of outer suburbia what's the promise of suburban of the suburbs 
What's the promise of the suburbs? The promise of the suburbs is that you are going to live in an idyllic area where there's no crime. Everyone has the perfect amount of space in between themselves and their neighbors. Everyone is able to make an income. There's there's no real there's no real danger. And you get to live you get to die and no, nothing is going to really impede your ease or happiness in life. The suburbs are a lie after a fashion, you know? Like you just there is no there is no like perfect place that you can live that you can escape the pain of and the burden of being and that's what that's why so many so many people that grow up in the suburbs when they grow older they reject their families or they reject the experience because they recognize that this can't be it this can't be all that life has to offer like this idyllic world of 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 no challenge you know this is like the guy that sings this he's kind of like I think he would be rebelling against something like participation trophies, you know? Like, the suburbs produce participation trophies. The suburbs produce grocery grocery stores where every, uh, or in supermarkets. Where everything that you could ever want is, is on the shelf. There's no challenge to finding deeper meaning in life outside of, like, like... The, the suburbs and, and the, the, the stores around the suburbs are always going to meet the needs of your your desires, but they're not going to meet your innermost desire of, like, purpose or meaning. So I can really understand, like, the, the, the uh, struggle that's going on here. So, anyways, I think that's probably where, where I would fall down on this song. I think that if you were to listen to other bands, there's other bands that are similar to this that I grew up listening to and I really liked. Not of them, not they. They aren't all together or are still playing music. But there's a band called Further Seems Forever that you would I would highly recommend. That's very similar to this. Um, Story of the Year is more of like a rock and roll, more like rock style. Adelaide is another band that is very similar to this. Um, a little bit more on the heavier end, but same lyrical style. Yeah, I think that there's um, a couple other bands that are similar, like Fall Out Boy, kind of, but not really. Um, but I really do like this style of music. This is kind of the music that I gravitate towards outside of what I do on the show, which is like more like synthwave type stuff. But I really do like the vocal delivery. The All the um, instrumentation is on point for the style of music. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints with this song. This is a this is a good. If I were to give this, a, I, I always give a ranking of each song on a zero scale from zero to ten. Zero being ter uh, garbage, I would never listen to this again. Ten being a perfect song, and it's added to the playlist, uh, or my at least my personal playlist. This is a solid eight for me. I really like this song. I like the way that it makes me think. Uh, I like that it makes me it makes me challenge it challenges myself to and reminds me that although I am fighting very hard to take care of my family and, and feed and prosper and lead my uh, and take care of all the need the immediate needs of my home ultimately um, I can't stop there I have to push people on to I have to push my children and myself into greater and greater steps of meaning and purpose and responsibility because that's where you find meaning. You find meaning in the things that you are responsible for and you find meaning in what God, what I think God has called you to. So if you don't have those in your life then you're gonna make a song like this because you really don't have that grounding foundation to put your life on and otherwise you might have a wonderful home or whatever in suburb in suburban land, but you know suburbia can't can't give you meaning. It can't give you purpose. It can't give you a deep sense of moral responsibility for the your neighbors. So yeah, man, I I really like this song, man. I really do. I'm gonna have to listen to this band a little bit more, 
Any Mouth, and I'll tell you more about some of the other songs that they've written, but overall, I think this is, if this is not a single on their album, it should be, because this is a very good, uh, very good write, music writing, and uh, like I said, everything else in this band, they did a great job with it. So there, guys, what do you guys think about this song? Zokajor says, there's also a part of the lyrics that seems rather denialish, starting at the flame part, tearing the town apart, stone by stone, being an avalanche. Are they trying to destroy the visage that they are trapped in? The world, like the body's keeping the soul in, or keep the world out, destroy the world to see what's truly within it? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, is because subvert the promise of of the suburbia isn't good enough man it isn't and i love don't get me wrong i love growing up in the suburbs i did grow up in the suburbs so i understand that it is a very idyllic and happy place but without a deeper meaning or rootedness for why you're really here on this world or in this world and on this earth you will want to destroy it you'll want to say there's something wrong here there's something wrong and I can't, life cannot be simply about just sitting around, growing older, and eternal fun. You know, it's, that's not what life's, life can't be about that. It can't be just a hedonistic pleasure land, you know. So I would challenge any mouth, I would challenge Zokajor, everyone, that you ought to challenge yourself to take on more personal responsibility for yourself and your, those around you. So that you can find meaning in what you do, I would I would challenge you to spend more time thinking about um, God and how His uh, and how the Word of God has called you to be a servant of Him and the Lord Jesus and see and encounter Jesus because I think He really does have a lot of criticisms of suburbs after a fashion and. He has a lot of solutions to those as well, so I think that's probably, um, yeah, that's probably where I would go. I think there's two things I would recommend is to take on person, more personal responsibility for yourself and your community, and also answer those deep questions about the ultimate purpose and meaning of life, because that is where you're going to find your grounding and your hope. It's not really going to be in what you do. But it's going to be about what God thinks of you. And I think when you can answer those questions, um, then you can find peace in uh, suburbs. You can find peace in the city. You can find peace in the countryside. Because you know really ultimately who you belong to, not necessarily where you belong. I think that's the other avenue, the other addition to the, the problem. Because it's not necessarily just where you belong, but also... Who are you and where and who do you belong to? I think those are the two things that really are going to help the singer and your, your, yourself. Yeah, so I don't know. I think that's probably the long and short of my thoughts on it. So um, let me know what you guys think in the chat. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know um, if there's any other songs you'd like me to listen to from that band. But I think that probably could be a single if it isn't, you know. It was uh, really well done, so. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the show. And you can catch me live on Twitch. I do a live stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and one day on the weekend. And you can recommend your own songs that I'll review live and possibly put on YouTube. So, hey, with that being said, thanks again for watching. Bye.